You're watching Maryland's first television station, WMAR 2 News. Now, good morning, Maryland. Well, it is Thursday, August 3rd. I'm Randall Newsom, and these are some of your top stories. This afternoon at City Hall, Councilman Eric Costello will introduce a new bill banning BGE regulators. Right now, hundreds of people in the city are involved in a lawsuit against BGE. It comes after their gas was cut off when they refused to get the regulators installed. BGE responded in a statement saying customers were notified in advance about a potential shutoff if they did not allow regulators to be installed. Today's announcement is scheduled for 2.30. Well, people struggling to pay their water bill will soon receive some help. The Baltimore Board of Estimates approved $15 million in grants. The funding comes from the state's Water Assistance Relief Program. Starting next week, grant recipients will receive a letter giving them all the information and their credit amount. That credit will then be reflected on their next bill. And Baltimore County Police are pleased with their ShotSpotter technology pilot. It's been a, in place for a week now in the Essex and Wilkins precincts and has issued three alerts so far. ShotSpotter's purpose is to isolate the sound of gunshots to cut down response time when looking for a shooter. It's also supposed to help police provide aid to the victims. All right, let's check on our forecast meteorologist Stevie Dane. Good morning, everyone. So today is going to be a little bit muggier compared to yesterday. So get ready for it because the humidity will start to increase as we head into the weekend. So if you're heading out the door this morning, whether you're going to work or even going for that morning walk or run, uh, just make sure you have the extra water with you. And I wouldn't even uh, I wouldn't even doubt that you should probably turn on your AC unit in your car as you're heading out to work and have that air recirculating as we're still dealing with some of that leftover wildfire smoke drifting in from Canada. We have the opportunity for some spotty thunder showers mainly late afternoon and that will also persist into the evening time frame with mostly cloudy skies highs in the mid 80s today.